Now to a Target 12 investigator's exclusive, a corrections officer at the Wyatt Detention Center says he was brutally attacked by an inmate. Yet now, more than a year later, no charges are being leveled against the prisoner. Now the guard says he feels the prison administration let him down. A warning to our viewers, this report contains graphic images of the injuries sustained by the prison guard. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White, who has the exclusive details. We've learned the attack inside the prison was videotaped. The guard, who says he was assaulted in April of last year, claims that tape has mysteriously become damaged. This is Lieutenant Scott Belford, a corrections officer at the Wyatt Detention Center. These photographs obtained by Target 12 were taken moments after officials say a combative inmate, Christopher Morales, brought these metal handcuffs crashing down on Belford's skull. He sustained a concussion. He was out of work for several months. John Grasso is Belford's attorney. He claims a superior officer broke prison protocol by ordering Belford to handcuff the prisoner's hands in front of his body, opening the door to the attack. The inmate raised his handcuffed hands over his head, and then he brought them down um, on Scott's head. Target 12 has learned the incident was being videotaped by another guard, a common practice. But now there are questions about what happened to that vital piece of evidence. The handheld videotape that they had on the scene, we were told, um, was operable, then it may have been um, damaged. Is the state police aware that this incident was caught on tape? Yeah, we have everything. All the evidence that we're aware of is being looked at and scrutinized. While State Police Colonel Stephen O'Donnell would not comment on the status of the videotape, he did confirm for Target 12 that the State Police have picked up the investigation. The correction staff that were there needed to see justice in this case. Veteran prison detective Aaron Aldrich was hired nine months after the attack to investigate crimes inside the Wyatt. He says he was shocked to walk in on his first day and learn the inmate had not been charged in the attack. So he met with State Police and quit after only eight days on the job. That no action was taken for months, um, it leaves the inmates feeling possibly empowered that they can assault a staff member and not see uh, the justice system uh, follow through and hold the person responsible that committed the assault. The prison's legal counsel, Margaret Lynch Gadoletta, says the Wyatt administration acted appropriately and immediately reported the incident to the U.S. Marshal Service. She declined to comment about the videotape and about the allegations against Belford's superior officer, saying that the investigation is ongoing. Meanwhile, Morales has been moved to a prison in Pennsylvania, and Belford still has not returned to work. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.